Firstly, we have to remove the stock from standalone chassis. Extend the stock. Using any standard mill spec tool, unscrew the castle nut. At the bottom part, right next to the pistol grip, you will see a opening. You have to unscrew the screw from inside until it shows up. Detach a stock tube by turning it counterclockwise. Attach your HPA tank with pre-installed adapter and buttstock to your standalone chassis. Screw it all the way in, then align the pistol grip and the buttstock. Pay your attention that the degas opening is supposed to be aimed down. Tighten the screw next to a pistol grip. Your HPA tank may be unscrewed from the adapter now. The first part is done, let's move to a second one. Remove the aiming device with gas chamber using an Allen key. Remove the brass connector, you won't need it anymore. Open the barrel, pull the trigger Push the piston with your second hand, then gently release the trigger. The piston will stay in its back position. Now you have to remove your nozzle. To do that, you have to unscrew four screws that hold in it. Using the same Allen key, push the nozzle out through the diagonal openings. Now hold your launcher with the barrel up remove the nozzle and pay your special attention to prevent the barrel lock spring falling down. Take the HPA nozzle from the kit and gently install it on the place of the old one. Help it go in all the way with your fingers. The indication that you did everything right is that the nozzle aligned with the rest of the surface. Lock the barrel and tighten four screws. To make it in the proper way, tighten the screws by diagonal. Don't tighten it uh, with your full strength, do it by steps. Now you can use a little bit force to tighten the screws, but do it by diagonal and watch that the nozzle is sitting straight all the time. Remove the brass plug. Let this o-ring stay inside. Combine your ML36 grenade launcher with standalone chassis. Screw the connecting nut through the holes. Tighten the launcher with the flag handles. Attach a new aiming device instead of the old one. This aiming device also uses as the plug for the air supply opening. Tighten it with two screws. Now you have converted your ML36 to an HPA version. Fill the tank through the regular inlet nipple. The pressure inside the tank cannot exceed 3000 psi. Use the safety gear always when you're using high-pressure air devices. To switch the gas line on, please turn the selector to the horizontal position. To turn the gas line off, drop the selector to the vertical position and it will degas the system automatically. Now you can remove the tank easily.